They are telling the Southeast to think twice about Peter Obi next time. Around, Dr. Maidi Shewo drops the unbelievable. A political and an activist, Dr. Maidi Shewo, has alleged that the ministerial portfolios given to the Southeast is to tell the region to think twice about Peter Obi in the next elections. He said in an interview with Arise TV News that the Southeast was literally given crumbs in the ministerial pl placement by President Tunubu. You said, you go to the Southeast, what you have in the Southeast is similar to what you have in Matthew chapter 15, verses 26 to 28, which says, it is not right to take the children's bread and give it to the dogs. And the woman said, Lord, even the dog eats the crumbs that fall from the master's table. This is how the Southeast were given the crumbs, the ministry of work, the woman affairs, and the ministry of innovation and technology put together these ministries and they are not up to Nigeria Airport Authority. In other words, they are telling the Southeast to think twice about Peter Obi next time. He also said that <laughs> if you have a, a mental picture of what Tunubu gave to Southwest, it's just like having Ududua Republic. Dr. Mahdi Shewu also alleged that the recent appointment made by President Bola Tinubu to the South West like, is just like having a Duduwa Republic. He said in an interview with the Arise TV News that there is no difference between President Tinubu and Buhari. According to him, the South West has dominated every sector with the recent ministerial appointment. He said, there is no difference between Buhari and Tinubu, and we are going to say it very clearly now. For example, look at what goes to the Southwest. Number one is the CBM, but of course, of course, MFLA is under charge now. They will never appoint another CBM governor. And this guy acting as a CBN governor, he's from the Southwest. All commercial banks, all financial institutions, 90% of microfinance banks, the Ministry of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, the Marina and the Blue Economic Power, Transport and Petroleum, in addition to being the Senior Minister of Petroleum and in addition to being the Petroleum and now it is, and now, if you have a mental picture of what Tunubu gave to the Southwest, it's like having Ududua Republic in the making. It is a matter of Buhari's insensitivity. Okay, he repeated. Meanwhile, Nigerians have this to say. Thank you, sir. I understand your proverb. South is supposed to think twice, as you said. Nigeria has three states that compromise Wazobia, which are Lagos, Abuja, Port Aikot. <laughs> and Peter will be won gallantly in those states. It shows that Nigerians are behind Peter will be. So what is that moron talking about? What is he trying to say our politicians will just open their mouth and talk shit. Hmm. You want APC to give them Minister of Finance so that they can crumble the economy like emoji only. Sometimes I just wonder the way some people reason and talk. You people sound like now that the West has all the power there are people will be better off 
the North has has been in power, how does that improve life? Okay. Uh, dear sir, it's not they are telling the Southeast, but you are telling the Southeast. But that Nigerians had told the Southeast since 1999 to exercise patience that the 2023 is their time, and heaven have approved it since 1999. So nobody can stop it now, even Iyakubo. The best language is to ask Tinubu to vacate the, the seat for his southeasterner, please. The southeast can never think twice about Peter Obi, the rock. Much thanks for anything the, for saying the truth. As for the crumbs, we have been subjected to worse conditions. Since amalgamation, the marginalization is now obvious. Our God will fight for us. Okay, what did Peter Obi do? Shameless people. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So, Dr. Mahadi Shewu, who is a political activist, has alleged that the ministerial portfolios given to the Southeast tells the region to think twice about Peter Obi in the next elections. He said this in an interview with Arise TV News, that the Southeast were literally given crumbs in the ministerial replacement by President Bola Tinubu. He said, you go to the Southeast, what you have in the Southeast is similar to what you have in Matthew, 20, in Matthew chapter 15, 26 to 28, which says, It is not right to think, it is not right to take the children's bread and give the and give it to the dogs. And the woman said, Lord, even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. So he said, This is how the South is. We are given the crumbs. The Minister of Work, the Woman Affairs, the Minister of Innovation and the Technology put together these ministers and they are not up to Nigerian Airport Authority in their own in other ways. They are telling the South is to think twice about Peter V next time around. So guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.